Hey guys, welcome to the Daily Smash. <laughs> it just happened. Tuesday, November 7th, 2023. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. She's getting text messages and hearing stories about stuff that's going on, and it's a little wacky. Oh my God. And you guys are probably wondering why I'm wearing a coat. Yeah. It's because it is freezing in these hotel rooms. We're in Orlando uh, in a very nice hotel. We can say it because we're going to be gone when you see this. The Ritz Carlton. And they must keep it at 50 degrees in the hallway. It, it's freezing in here. We turned the air off in our room and it's still chilly in here. It's not like you got a little cold. I got a little cold, like an allergy, whatever. Um, but I, you're not used to air conditioning. I'm not used to air conditioning. I'm from Arizona, but I haven't lived in Arizona since 2004, okay? Yeah. And I can't stand air conditioning. I, 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 I like I, it. I'm not going to lie. Typically. But it is freezing in here. It's freezing. It's it's like I'm like I'm frozen. I was going to put my sweatshirt on. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm cold. Well, you look nice in that jacket. Beautiful dress. Look at that. We had a very uh, <laughs> nice dinner. We had a crazy cool day today. Involved in a project, can't talk about it yet. Had to sign an NDA. Yeah, and but we can show you a, a sneak peek of a photo shoot that we did, um, but just a little taste of it because we're not we're not allowed to talk about it yet. It's not too soon, but it's pretty damn exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. I just, we're both creative people, and we're going to be able to maybe do some cool stuff. Oh. Um, Speaking of cool stuff. I just got a text message from Jeff Lewis. Oh, now. yeah. Do you want to do that first? Yeah, let's talk about this. Okay, right. I, I just want to start off. I've known Jeff Lewis for over 10 years, okay? He has been only gracious, kind, and nice to me. When Bravo dumped me and everybody else, he was there for me. He was there to support me, mm -hmm. to support us. He, he, he has stayed friends with you even when he was criticized for being friends with you. Yes. And me. Okay, like like the whole thing has he, I'm not on payroll with him. He has always been generous, he's been kind, and mm -hmm. he's been nice. Yeah. He and, and he's I are now. He and I are the, the very same person. We're sarcastic, we make jokes. Um, when we're hurt, we like to hurt back. Maybe not the rightest, brightest thing to do. <laughs> But that's what how we roll. Like we're very, very similar. That's actually a really nice way of summing it up. Um, in a lot accurate. of ways. When, yeah. when you're hurt, you can hurt people, hurt people. Okay? Yeah. Now, is it a right way to be? No. But that's how we are. That's how we're built. And I think Jeff Lewis is wrongly getting slammed. I was just going to ask you, do you think it's unfair, the I, criticism he's getting? I think it's unfair. Okay, I can only go by how people treat me, and he's only treated me the best, and you the best. Sorry. Um, okay. Well, that's yeah. popping out. Oh, okay. I, I, I love Jeff Lewis. Yeah, he's an awesome guy, he, and I just met him through you, and I, I, I really, really he appreciate him. He makes me him. laugh. He's honest. He's truthful, and um, I, I, I honestly feel bad for him and i wish people would give him grace he got a lot of criticism for talking about chef stew on his show on monday tuesday M monday monday on monday show um and he got criticism for what he said at BravoCon in the opening remarks um he's gotten criticism about the whole krista and heather situation it's 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 terrible but can uh, we just jump to the breaking news yes that Jeff Lewis has a theory. Of course, Heather, we talked about this on our Patreon, our emergency Patreon this week, that Heather did an emergency Patreon to say that the earring that she still had, she lost one, she said the other one that Krista gave her, she had it tested and it was costume jewelry. It was fake and worth less than 100 bucks. Jeff Lewis thinks that's not the earring. He just test texted me. It's 10 o'clock at night here, okay? And he said, hey, I don't think Heather is telling the truth about those earrings. I remember them. And I also remember Krista bought them. When Krista bought, bought them, them and, and where. where. So Jeff is saying that the earring that Heather claims is fake is not the earring or one of the two earrings that Krista gave Heather that she then took to St. Bart's and lost one in St. Bart's. I don't know. 
I have no idea. But he said, he hinted at that on the radio today. He said he saw them, he was there right after she bought them, and he wasn't convinced that those were the same earrings, and now he's, he's doubling down on that. Yes. <laughs> the, comments, like, we, the comments we got were remarkable in that people are very firm in either supporting Krista or supporting Heather, or supporting neither one of them. But like everyone has an opinion, and it's very strong. He just wrote, maybe I may be wrong, but I've never known Krista to wear fake jewelry. Well, one of the theories is that Krista was duped, that when she bought the earrings, she was told they were diamond and gold, when in fact they weren't. That she overpaid, She maybe she did pay three grand, but they weren't, they weren't worth it. They were worth 100 bucks. But Jeff's saying they might not be the same earrings i don't know i mean i don't see heather taking a fake earring you know, it's, but you know what it's so funny is that being on these shows or on a reality show you a, a, a million people can watch the same show and people have different feelings about a person sure right yeah. like you you could watch something and somebody has a totally different opinion of what went down um i I, I I I don't know. I don't I don't know what happened. I don't know if they're real. I don't know who got duped. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I don't think there was a consp when Heather said she got there was a conspiracy a against her, and people were, this was a planned attack. Yeah. There is no way this was a planned <laughs> attack. Well, Jeff said that on his show today on Monday. He said, "I don't have time." To plan attacks, I'm too busy with everything else. And I believe, yeah, and he is. That I believe. He 100%. does. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's not a plan attack. He's not planning any and, attacks. And what would be the motivation for that? He could have been duped by Krista if Krista, if they were fake, and Krista knew they were fake and told Jeff they were real. He, Jeff, could have been duped. Right. But what you said about different people having different opinions. One of the things I learned being a reporter is that you have ten people witness something. You'll have 10 different stories of what they saw. And it could be totally different. The car was red, the car was green, the car was black, the car was white. The person was tall, the person was short, the person was heavy, the person was thin. Everyone has, sees something different and a lot of it's based on their own experiences. In the same way that someone watches a TV show or hears about an event, they're gonna have a very different opinion. And we see that every day in our comments. Right. I mean, one, from, from one comment to the next can be completely opposite that's why it's hard being a reporter because you have to get two or three sources right yes you do uh, and I think that's uh, where this comes in I listen this whole thing is sad everybody was friends I loved having Heather at my house I love having Jeff at my house during the 4th of July I loved going on the boats with Heather and Jeff being there mm -hmm. this whole thing is a sad circumstance. It's unfortunate. And it's unfortunate. Yeah. Um, I loved hanging out with, with Stu. I loved hanging out with Jeff. Um, this whole thing is 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 terrible. It's uh, sad when, when, when friendships are torn apart, uh, when people stop talking to each other. Uh, it, it yeah. It, it's it's a shame because this was a tight knit group. Yeah. And you know, it's like it's it's for instance, it's like, you know, Jeff is friends with Tamara. I, I I I can't I can I could never be friends with Tamara. I'm not friends with Tamara. I never asked Jeff not to be friends with Tamara. He can mm -hmm. be friends with Tamara. He has a relationship with her. Yeah. Um, he knows how close Shannon and I once were, and he tried to get us back together. And he is a person of great character, and 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 I just hate on his Instagram. I hate to see all those. Horrible comments. Um, well, you've been in, you've been on the receiving end of that too, and it, it's like it's once the, that snowball starts rolling down the hill and gets bigger and bigger, people pile on, and it and it is messed up how vicious it can be on social media. Social media is it's it's crazy how it can be awesome, but it can also be brutal. Well, and you know you know like you guys all know. I mean, I said something on on Instagram that one time somebody came after me, and I said it was God's way of thinning the herd, and that was like the worst thing. And it didn't I w didn't mean it that way. I mean, yeah. obviously, I have a I have a heart. I I I don't want people to die. It wasn't meant that way, but 
people take it that way. I mean, mm-hmm. like Darwin, you know, it took out the older people. Yeah, I, I and it's and it's it's evolution, and it's uh, it, if you look at history, it it happens every hundred years. But but it was during it, people were sensitive. I get that, but I guess and the, I didn't mean to hurt anyone's feelings. But the point of and this I, is that Jeff is now dealing with an onslaught of hate. Yeah. And it's it's a tough time, I guess, for him. I and, mean, and, and I can tell you, Jeff loved, loved Brandy and Julie. He didn't come out to hurt her. They hurt them. He loved those girls. He gave them a show. Yeah. Like, he believed in them he so much. He tried to propel them. Yeah, he tried to help them. And he, people are just attacking him. And I don't think it's fair. Uh, I, I just feel, I feel bad for Jeff Lewis. He, and what he said about Chef Stu, because Chef Stu's mom fell ill last week, and Chef Stu made the choice not to fly home to Ireland, but to go to BravoCon. And Jeff brought that up because Chef Stu's mom died like a day or two later. And Chef Stu, I, I guess, had an opportunity to potentially get home in time, and he chose to go to BravoCon, and Jeff sounded like he was judging him, which a lot of people probably are and, and, and are doing anyway. But because Jeff was public about it, people came after him, right? And they thought that maybe, I don't know, I didn't read the, the criticism. They, they think he it's overstepped. It's horrible. Oh, yeah, they're like, he is an awful person for bringing that up. His mom just passed away. Yeah, um, and it's obviously a personal matter between Stu and his family if he's going to go or not, and he may have had very specific reasons why he didn't or couldn't. I don't know. I, we haven't talked to him about it. No, but 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 we just we do want to say um, we are sorry for your loss. For Jeff sure, Stu. Um, it's a horrible, horrible s- circumstances that have happened to you, and we you know we feel bad for everyone in yeah. this. Yeah. And I just, I just wish that everybody would just give everyone just some grace and some love at this time. It's just, it's, it's. I just hate the fighting. It's just horrible. Yeah, it's yeah, it is a shame. And we are friends with so many of these people, and we are still friends with Heather, even though Jeff and Heather are no longer friends, and and you're still friends with Jeff, even though you don't like Tamara and Jeff and Tamara are friends. Right. And so that is still possible. And it's happening, but I don't know. It's a complicated world we live in. Mm-hmm. Now we. I, I don't know. I I have seen some shady things that I'm not going to talk about this um, from Krista, which I'm going to have a conversation uh, with her with with Jeff about oh, okay. about. And I, I spoke about it to uh, to 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 Megan about it, and um, I, I I don't. I, 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 the whole thing is sad. Well, I just, I, I think I want to move on to a, another topic. You had talked to Vicky, you were texting with Vicky, and she said something to you about watch what happens live with Teddy Mellencamp, but she really wanted you to watch. Yeah. Did you learn anything more about that? No, she, I, I go, she, 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 I don't think she wanted to tell me, but she said, you have to watch this watch what happens live between, uh, they had a squ- squash her beef. Uh, quash is it squash or quash? I, 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 is it? I think squ- squash? squash. I think they say squash your beef. Quash. I thought it was quash. I think so. But they said squash. Oh. Anyways, Teddy Melling. Squash why it. do they keep bringing up? Te- why does Teddy Melling keep keep on going to watch What Happens Live? She's not on any Bravo shows. Why is she? Why does they keep well, they know what, making her, her happen? Why they, they know her and she co-hosts a show with Tamara on the, a podcast. So, like, why like, aren't you on? Because, Everybody knows you because I have more conservative values than Teddy. Teddy is more. Well, you've been more public about your actual. But but beliefs. if you but if you think along the same lines and the same agenda as Bravo, you're invited. Okay. Okay. You're you're you get to come on. Yeah. If you don't go, if you go against their their agenda, you're invited to everything. You you know, um, I'm forever. I think blacklisted from an ultimate girls trip, which I think I deserve because they charge me 
sixteen thousand dollars. I know I sound like a broken record, yeah. But I'm just talking. I'm just giving you guys the lowdown on what Vicky had to say. Okay. Um, I can't wait to watch what happens live. Uh-huh. Uh, I can't wait to see what Vicky has to say. Maybe about we'll do a this, recap of it about this Teddy Mellencamp <laughs> that everyone is throwing, forcing us down their throats. It's like, it's like, it, it, it's the craziest thing. Well, we heard a lot of stories about I, I, people, I, I, and personalities. No one, likes, no one likes Teddy Mellencamp. We've heard a lot of stories about people, including her, who were at BravoCon and people who ran into the people like her at BravoCon. And I don't want to betray any confidences or whatever, but um, <laughs> it, it, people are pretty full of themselves, apparently. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and, and then, you know, uh, <laughs> Tamara had the audacity to tell somebody that uh <laughs> no you can't say it okay. you can't say it um this is Ilya wine they sponsor our daily smash if you enjoy the smash check out Ilya wine it is a fantastic spanish wine made with spanish grapes but it's designed in new york by layla joy williams it's now available in the uk it's also available as part of a wine club if you go to ilya.com you can sign up for the club you can have it delivered to your door every month two months three months your own schedule it is delicious, and it's very competitively priced. And if you order three bottles or more, it's free shipping. So you can't go wrong. Support a small business. Support Ilya Wine. Support our show. Yes. Right? Right. We're going to open this bottle before we leave Florida. Yes. I just want to also say um, congratulations to Vicky. I'm oh, yeah. so glad that they recognized her. Uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. Yes, she, it was pretty cool. It was it was pretty cool. And I and I want to give Bravo credit because the the production value on that on that show looked very good. It did. It looked really professional, really well done. Um, and Vicky definitely and, deserved and Vicky, it. it was Vicky cool. deserves it. You know why? Yeah, you guys might have your whole thing about her and whatever, but you know what? From this show, these shows devo- they, they 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 destroy relationships they destroy families i know this show uh kind of put a wedge between my mother and my brother uh and you and and me and i know this it's put a wedge between tamara and her daughter and you know her family members Mm -hmm. and you know she's a grandmother showing her ugly deformed boobies everywhere no one really wants to see but you know what vicky we have to give vicky credit you know she's a good mother, she's shown that. She talks to her kids. She uh, has a great relationship with them. She spends so much time with her grandkids. She goes down to Oklahoma to watch them. She is a great example of what a housewife is. And she has not let that hurt her relationships. I mean, you see what the Gorgas. It's like your family, your blood. Yeah. This is like, it's, it's, it's disgusting to see this. It's 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 bad. I mean, I you know, it's sad. And, and and this is what's driving I think our country in this big division because we're not getting back to proper families core and, values. and core values anymore. You know what? People love watching car accidents and train wrecks. They love it, so they want to see it on TV too. They like the conflict. They like the fighting. They like the drunken brawls and the throwing glasses and stuff at each other and but you know good for vicky good for vicky for yeah. for for staying on course staying on par um showing us what a good mother and a grandmother and a businesswoman i mean she has bought all her kids houses yeah. she's worked her butt off she could she's in her 60s she still continues to have her business uh-huh. still trying to hustle still trying to work she's a great girlfriend to my friend mike smith whom I uh, hooked set them, them up. I set them up. Yeah. And, you know, we've had our differences, Vicky and I. We've fought over the years. But, you know, at the end, we have reconciled. We've said sorry. I love that. And it, it is refreshing. And I'm just so happy for her that cool. Bravo has recognized her. I love that you guys worked it out. Yeah. And that you're, that you're friends. And I think you and Shannon will be friends again, too. In the news now... In the news. Kelly's favorite story, the tenant from hell, Elizabeth Hirshhorn, warns the landlord of her property she will fight to return after police finally escorted her off 
of that Los Angeles mansion where she refused to pay the rent for 575 days. This is the part that I can't even believe. They finally got her out of the house, and the owner of the house changed the locks, and her lawyer said, oh, no, this isn't over. And she filed to come back. Filed to come back. After not paying the rent for 575 days, what possible right does she have to go back to this home that she hasn't been paying for for a year and a half? Right. The under, audacity. Uh, no, and the under a technicality that the shower wasn't permitted. Right. Okay. Didn't have a per the owner didn't have a permit for the shower, so she was able to finagle her way through the legal system and say, well, see, I don't have to pay rent because there's no permit for that shower. But she's still using the shower, and she's still living in the home, in the guest house, and not paying rent. And I guess there were three guys there, her friends were there, hanging out with her, and, and, the, and the owner of the house was like, who are these guys? He calls the cops, and they escorted them all, including her, off the property. And she took all her stuff with her and, and checked into some like long-stay hotel, and he changed the locks. He said, thank God, she's finally gone. And her lawyer has the, you know what, to go and, and file a motion to let her back in? And they show pictures of her. Let's show this picture. She's got a mask on. Yeah. Why are you wearing a mask? So either A, you're uglier than Sim, which we already know you are, <laughs> or you are, you know, one of those people that are entitled. I think that, she's wearing that, a mask because she doesn't want anyone to see her face. No, I think she's one of those those, you those, think she's those scared? people. No, I think she's one of those people that that vote for Biden and are entitled. Okay, you just alienated half our audience. It's okay. No, I don't think anybody likes Biden here. Okay, I don't well, think anyone does. I just in the read States today. Of America. Democrats are saying don't run again because now Trump's leading in polls against. They can Biden. get another Democrat in there to run, but this guy is doing a horrible job for our country, and yeah. everyone knows it. Even even the liberals. Okay, back to the story. The owner of the house said, "I can't believe because she was able to rent another apartment in, like I said, a long term hotel." The owner said, I can't believe she was able to rent in L.A. after being exposed as a serial rent scammer. The real problem in U.S. society is that you can commit wrongdoing, but if you don't go to jail, you can just move on to the next one. I can't agree more. Like, she, she did I this to someone else. I think she's like in an in, um, extended stay of America. I yeah, think she's in like one that. of those. Because yeah. who in their right mind would rent out to her? Who? Well... She's trying to not only get the money she paid in rent for the first six months she was there back. She wants this guy to give her another hundred grand, even though she owes him for all the, the year and a half that she didn't pay him. She wants him to pay her. It, the whole thing is so obnoxious, especially what? What? for us when we rent out two homes on Airbnb. God forbid somebody tries to do that in one of our houses. Well, I don't know. I think, I mean, that guy, if I had it, I'd probably burn down the house. I, I, at that guest house, I would probably. There are ways. I, or I would do something. There are ways. I would do something where she is not entitled. Who in their right mind makes her think that she is entitled to move back well, in? She's, she's done it before. She's she's scammed. She's other, a scam allegedly. artist. But to once you're out, you're out. You're gonna try and get back into that house now. Shame on you. Right. Shame on you. And anyone who supports that behavior, shame on you too. And you know what? And those judges that allow this to happen, yeah. I hope to God this happens to them. Yeah, they should have a house. They should have a house where somebody comes and they squat like that and, right. and they don't pay. Right. Like how what kind of judge? Who appoints these idiot well, judges? Well, can we just change the law so that this can't happen again? Can we just fix it? Because yeah. it's obviously a glitch in the system. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's absurd. Anyway, that's enough ranting for one day, don't you think? <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this very uh, unscripted smash. Uh, you can expect more of this here and more of this on Patreon where we will go off and we can say whatever we want without worrying about being censored. And I love how people go, oh my God, is this saving it for Patreon? This is a free thing for you. Yeah, we're providing is, 20 to 30 minutes every day for you guys, and we hope you enjoy it. We, um, we, we, but it doesn't cost you anything. Yeah. But yeah, we do save really good stuff for Patreon. And we because can't talk about most people stuff pay on here. For that you privilege. guys know that this platform demonetizes you, and it, they, they, they don't. If you, if you say violate any guide, their community guidelines, guidelines, whatever, we're not doing that. 
So we're, not, we not that's why we have that other platform. And there we're uncensored, unfiltered, and, it's and commercial free too. Commercial free. Yeah. And yeah, over an hour long. So and, and, we got a lot of patrons today. Like yes. a tremendous number. Thank you guys. Thank you. For signing up for our Rick and Kelly show on Patreon. And the rest of you, uh, come join us. It's a lot of fun. And we didn't talk about our alien wine. No, we did. Oh, we did. We did, yeah. This is so good. I know Please. it was right in the middle Get of all it. that other yeah. stuff. Uh, and you can subscribe here on YouTube, too, if you haven't yet. We'd appreciate that. We hope you guys have a smash-tastic day. More fun from Florida tomorrow. Right. Bye, guys. Have a smash-tastic day.